Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Skyblock video, and today's actually going to be a tutorial on how to build an automatic sugarcane farm like the one I have right behind me. We're gonna not waste any time getting started whatsoever, and I'll just dive right into it. So you're going to need some dirt, cobblestone, pistons, observers, and redstone. Uh, also, it's useful to have some ice or packed ice uh, if you can buy it from the shop in Skyblock, or if you're doing this in survival, you can just mine some out with silk touch. Uh, you also need some signs and buckets of water, and of course, some sugarcane. So, we're just going to get started. Uh, you're going to start by making a layer of dirt. This is where obviously the sugarcane will actually be on top of. And let's just encase that in a little U-shape, uh, which is where we're going to put the water for the sugarcane. Uh, we're actually going to hold off on the water for just one second and we'll build the actual automatic sugarcane part first. So you have your layer of dirt just behind it, place a block of cobblestone and then one more up. So now you have a little diagonal design and we're just going to put a row of cobblestone right along the back of the dirt. Now uh, what you're going to do is you're going to make another diagonal uh, row just up once again so you sort of have this three staircase design and we're gonna just expand that all the way across fantastic so now we can put our pistons along this wall here so let's equip our pistons and this is going to be the part that actually pushes the sugarcane and automatically harvests it for us in order for the pistons to be activated, we need to use observers and redstone. So let's equip those two. And the reason you place the blocks along here is to place the redstone. Uh, but first we're gonna place the observers. So to place the observer, just go behind the piston, shift and uh, and place it. And you should see the little red dot here. Uh, the face part of it, that looks like a little face with two eyes and mouth, that should be facing the sugarcane because then it'll detect when it's grown. So that's how you know you've placed it correctly. And let's just place them all along the pistons up here. A Little bit of lag there. And redstone along the back of it to activate all the observers. Great, so now that part is done um, and we can actually do the water now. So we could just optionally put a bunch of water down here but we want to make this automatic. So we want all the sugarcane to be pushed into a hopper. Now we're gonna start by placing just a bucket of water at the edge here, and as you can see, it flows about seven or eight blocks out from the source. What we're going to do is we're going to continue this flow of water all the way to the end. So in order to keep that going, just choose a decent spot in the water. I'd like to use the second last block and place a sign so that it cuts off the water flow. And this will make it so that the water continues to push it into a piece of packed ice and this will keep the momentum of the sugarcane as it's being pushed with the water now again we do this once more and as you can see it will continuously push whatever we throw in here just along to the end so as to demonstrate I'll just throw my bucket and pushes it all the way to the end the war it's, it's sort of warping a bit and that's just server lag but as you can see it just pushes it all the way to the end no problem now I'm not going to actually do the hopper system or anything. I might leave the hopper system to a different video, but just know that you could put a hopper right on this block that I'm punching and then a chest below it and all the sugarcane will be pushed into the chest because it's connected to the hopper. Now this is pretty good. We're going to plant the sugarcane and obviously I can't plant it right there because there's no water. I'm trying to spam click and nothing's happening. That's fine, it's just for the bottom layer. We're gonna make multiple layers of this so this won't be an issue going forward. Um, but just to demonstrate that this does in fact work, I'll just place it, it pushes the sugarcane into the water and then into this corner. If you are observing quite well, you might notice that the sugarcane can actually be pushed onto this piece of cobblestone in this row entirely. So that's why we want to build a few blocks of space so that the sugarcane cannot land on this uh, back part here. I'm not going to build it all the way, but just build a wall so that the sugarcane 
hits the wall when it gets pushed and goes into the water, you should be fine. So that's basically it, but I will show you how to build a second layer because it is a little bit different. So this is the first layer. If you've followed along so far, congratulations. And I'll show you how to make the second layer. And then you could copy this as many times as you want to go all the way to build height like I did there. So once you've made the first layer, just come on top of these observers. And I just like to hop up and place one piece of dirt and then one piece of cobblestone. And we're going to mimic what we did in the uh, row below us. So we're going to make this layer of dirt. Let me just build it little faster. We're going to make one more layer of dirt, just like we had down there, and now we're going to back it up with some cobblestone, just like the layer below us. It's going to be almost an exact copy, so if you've been paying attention, what comes next? It's the other layer of cobblestone. So now we're going to build this layer, just all the way across, and Pistons once more along the back. Sweet. And let me just hop up. We're going to, again, come behind here, place some observers, and then we're going to place our redstone. All right, so we're not quite done yet because if you notice, there's actually no water connected to this level because down there we had the water system hydrating our dirt but if I try to click up here I can't actually plant any sugarcane and this is where it's a little bit different what you got to do is you actually got to come behind the dirt here and let me just use slash craft we're going to need a few slabs and some cobblestone and some water so we're going to actually put the water behind the dirt here instead of in front. So just place a block and we're going to encase this in cobblestone. But in order to place the water, I just place a slab and then seven blocks. And the reason is because water flows about seven blocks out. Um, and I just like to be safe with my water so that no problems arise. And then I'll place another slab and then another seven blocks. But this is a short farm, so just four and last step here we're going to just place a bucket of water in the slab that's the only reason why we use a slab here is so that i could come back and just place a bucket of water behind it without any problems without anything spilling out and we're just gonna bridge over and place our last bucket in the slab and that should conclude this layer so i'll demonstrate that the sugarcane actually works here we're going to just plant it now. It works completely fine. And you obviously want to build your wall up just a little bit more. If I had any more cobblestone, I would build it up to wherever would block it. But you're going to build this wall up again to match this layer. And that works completely fine. I kind of collected it there, but it would fall into the water just as you would expect. So that's pretty much it. All you need to do to expand this farm is build up. And just as I showed you before, the only difference when you're building up is you need to place the water behind the dirt with the slabs, the cobblestone, and the buckets of water. So I hope this was useful. Um, I hope that you learned how to build the auto farm all by yourself and that you can implement a, p a profit shop just like I have behind me. Um, the plus side to this farm actually is that since it's vertical it's always loaded in when the chunk is loaded in as opposed to farms that stretch out horizontally because if you don't know in minecraft chunks uh, are actually loaded 255 or 256 blocks vertically at all times um, so that's why the more vertical your farm is the more efficient it is if you don't if you're not really following don't worry about it just know that building it up is much better than building it sideways so Hope you keep that little bit of information in mind. Hope you guys learned something new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.